everybody, Jimbo here. We're going to talk a little bit about this DNA appliance. Uh, these are my DNA appliances. I've got an upper and a lower, and I got both of these at the same time. Uh, DNA stands for day and night appliance. So you're supposed to wear it during the day and also during the night um, for a total of 14 to 16 hours in time. So I, I manage my out time, which is you know 8 to 10 hours. So the basic general gist of how these things are supposed to work, there's two components to it. Um, the first is, uh, which is the goofy part, are these springs here. These are super light, um, very thin gauge, stainless steel, and these press up against the back of my teeth. And I think they also touch the palate a little bit, but the 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 concept and the way that this thing is supposed to work is that these, the way that these things vibrate and and the light pressure that they apply, but apparently mainly the, the vibration stimulates uh, or induces bone growth in your upper and lower skull, uh, well, jaw. So that happens for both the upper and the lower. So this guy goes in and it snaps in and there's two different versions. There's mRNA, I think it's called. Uh, which is this one and then there's also like the regular D DNA appliance so the DNA appliance does not the normal one um, is does not have these wings here on the side so um, and also these wings so because I have sleep apnea these things uh, are specifically used to keep my my lower jaw from falling back when I sleep so, um, now the reason that I got these was, was because my upper jaw is super, super tiny. Um, when I asked the doc, I, I was like, so, since I have a tiny upper jaw, uh, if you were to take that jaw and put it onto another person, what age would that person be? And he said, an underdeveloped eight-year-old. So, um, so, yeah, you've seen my intro video probably. Um, these, that's how these things go into my mouth um, and they sort of catch with these little barbs here uh, just to make sure that it snaps in correctly uh, and retains because what happens is over time as your as everything starts to move out um, the springs don't really hold it because there's these things these springs don't have a lot of force um, you really don't feel them so um, these little these little hooks here with the ball on it they they hook on in between uh, the teeth so so yeah that's kind of how um, it's kind of how it works and I got it because my upper jaw is super tiny and this is a custom made thing as you can tell these are my these are my uh, imprints here uh, that I got a while ago like early February uh, this will all change so I will get impressions as the process goes on because I will need new appliances as my screws get to their limits. Um, I'll need more of these. Oh, that's right. So the second portion of this is not only these guys here, but also this uh, these screws here that widen everything out. And that's on both of these actually. So they have adjustments here. And it's a quarter turn every four days. As long as you keep it in the right amount of time. So these things are made from uh, the, the uh, impressions, and that's what started the whole process. And I had to wait a little while until I got it. I think it was four to six weeks, if I remember correctly. So it took a little while, but it was certainly worth it. So they take a 3D scan and also imprint imprints to see to measure airway volume and all that jazz. Um, it's quite a quite an in-depth report about skull structure and. Um, distances from points in the skull and the jaw. I can certainly go over that in a separate video. Um, but uh, so yeah, I got that report a little bit earlier than uh, the appliance. The people that do this kind of work are specific people within the orthodontia field. Um, the place that I went to, since I'm in around Chicagoland um, in Illinois, I I found this 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 group here. So I did ask them permission to see if they were okay with me mentioning them, and they said yes. So Delaney Dental Care, this is the place that I work with um, 
there up in Gurney, Illinois. I started to find information about this when I started looking up um, when I got into the branch of orthodontia that, that is related to airway obstructions or airway issues. So once I got into airway orthodontics, then that's how it was much easier to find this appliance. So, um, so yeah, so that's the basic gist of what these things are and what they do. Check out my other videos, and as, uh, as time goes on, I will be posting more of how this is uh, going. Thanks very much.